Alrighty, welcome back. My, welcome back to another episode from Star Wars: The Old Republic. We're playing in the Sith Inquisitor storyline, and let me actually check this if it's actually recording. Sorry, it is. You go. I'm just leaving. It in. I, I'm new to this, so yeah. But anyway, um, I'm going back to the nice Sith assassin. Who's a, if you don't know, when you play as a Sith Inquisitor, you have different branch. You play Sith, you can play a Sith Assassin or a Sith Sorcerer. Sith Assassin is a little bit more hidden. A Sith Sorcerer is a little bit more lightning based. If I can recall correctly. But let's continue. So I think I left left off with Harakun giving off the, um, the um, Holocron, even though he think I faked it, but I didn't. So now we're off to go to Tulak Horde. Tunnel or well, tomb, see if we can recover something. But first, we gotta collect all these anti chamber tablets, the machine vault tablets, and collect the archive tablets. And we got a few side missions we can do, so let's do them. So, yet another acolyte stands in the shadow of our academy. You must consider yourself privileged. Tell me, alien, have you seen much of our civilization so far? Have you been awed by this world's power and glory? I'm only a student here. No, it is mine. Korriban was wrought by the true-blooded Sith millennia ago. Our ancestors, a crimson race of conquerors, raised the statues around us. Over the eons, however, our people mingled with slaves. Now the red markings of true Sith are rare, and the purity of this planet is in question. You're mingling with a former slave right now. Is that so? This is a sad day. But you may yet be useful. True purity and strength are carried in the blood. I worry that our blood is being diluted over generations. In the Emperor's name, I have come to learn whether the Academy's overseers are Sith or not. You will be my instrument. I don't want to, but I hate this option. So when last episode we were talking about options. I kind of don't want to say yes, Lord, but I don't want to say on huge authority, and I can't say no because it's a huge request. So I'm just going to go with say yes, Lord. Allow the Holocron to fulfill its purpose. Stand near the Overseers as it attunes to their blood purity. Then return here, and I will learn the truth. Nice. We got an invisible. You're. I right? have need of you, young one. I guess. Whatever errand your master sent you on can wait until we are through. What gives you the right to command me? I am Inquisitor Urinth, and I represent the intelligence operations of the Sith. We are currently holding an important Jedi prisoner, a spy who attempted to reach this academy. We have plans for him. Upon capture, we found the Jedi's mind simple to manipulate. Nice. We fed him false memories through a combination of drugs and sorcery. Soon he will return to his Jedi commanders and report the lies we fed him. He will know nothing of what we've done. All that remains is to stage his escape. And once he's free, what will he tell the Jedi? What did you plant on him? Information that should encourage certain Outer Rim colonies to reduce their defenses. Once that happens, we can arrange the destruction of those colonies and their Jedi defenders. You are young enough, new enough, to be a plausible traitor. You will go to the Jedi, talk to him, do as he asks, earn his trust. When that is done, set him free. Do whatever is necessary to get him out of prison. We will ensure that he reaches his ship and returns safely, Jedi friends. Consider it done. You will find the Jedi Quarry and Dorges in the jail cells. He is still confused and should not be overly difficult to convince. Alrighty. Let's go. I think this is the jail cell one. Yep. So when you hover over a mission, a hover order like a, um, any mission, it'll tell you which one it belongs to so you won't be confused. Also, a good way to gauge where you're at. By the way, if you use the middle scroll mouse, you can also zoom in and out. I like the mines out so I can see the layout of the map, but if you want it in, it's not too bad. Also, you can just use this to scroll in and out with. There is no emotion. There is peace. 
There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. The Jedi Code will guide me. I take it you're the Jedi who was captured. I'm Corian Dorjus. I'm a Jedi. Even here. Even on Korriban. Why do you care? Why are you here? I'm here to help. No one should have to suffer like that. You mean that? A Sith with a conscience? You're here to help me. Why am I talking in circles? What's wrong with me? The Inquisitors are messing with your mind. They pumped you full of drugs. I suspected as much. It's so hard to think straight. There's no passion. There's serenity. There's no chaos. There's harmony. The Jedi Code will guide me. I can focus. If you want to help me escape, I'll need my belongings, my lightsaber, my comlink. Before I was captured, the Sith chased me into the tomb of Tulak Horde. I hid my belongings inside an urn to lighten my load. That is where you'll need to go. Yay, of course. Well, I could never be easy grab and go. Can it? Alright, so now you can do parts of the other mission. Yeah, we'll just to collect um scan all these lords and whatnot. We got one in a far fucking back for some weird reason. Lovely. Oh, that a Oh, uh, here are Datacron. What is that? What is that? Ah. Uh, so, these are Datacron. Also, lore objects. Actually, I might be stupid. Yeah, I'm stupid. No, that's just a lore object. Datacrons will actually give you something. Wow, I feel dumb saying that. Do not listen to that. I made a slight mistake. But yeah, Datacrons will actually give you something, but they sound just like that. That was just a lore object you can find. Three more. We got Lord Solent. Solent. Yeah, Solent. Uh, Overseer. Raggate. And a uh, guy we met last episode. Arizona. I guess. today right now some apex legends and wow that was exhausting yeah but um let's talk about let's talk about how i view the jedi and sith so when i first got into the star wars series i used to view the jedi and sith as jedi was good sith was evil but after a while after literally playing this game slash going through some lord watching some lore Watching um, people teach about lore on some lore channels about the Jedi and like the the old Jedi and the old Sith. They tell me about a lot of things, and one of them is not everything is black and white. So let me go ahead this. So how do I feel now? Have to take a look at our ordnance for the Empire. Anyone can be evil. Anyone can be a Sith, and anyone can be a Jedi. You're not born that way. How you develop yourself. Now, who's better than who, now? Who's better than the over? Who is better than the other one? Nobody. They both was equally terrible. The Jedi, the Jedi are quote unquote peacekeepers, but that doesn't work out. Cause um. 
I read a comic book. Not comic book. Um, I won't read them. Ah, oh, English or whatever. But I done something with the. Uh, that doesn't. Wow. I see why people are script. Still don't know the right one. I'm gonna just let this play out so I can figure out what I want to say. But I know many people that like they come with an example that um during the first like order, many people got slaughtered since the Jedi did not help anybody to keep help anybody since they wanted to keep the peace. As though there's a lot of this thing for the Jedi during that time period of the first order. And so when the Empire came around it would seem like a better option than the Jedi. But they were actually doing something. And where do you go? Okay. And because they were actually doing something. Yes, they subjugated people to the fucking max. But they weren't trying to be a peace uh a peacekeeper. And they didn't value strength over anything else. And since they believe strength would get you further than anything, which in the Sith Academy or just in the Sith Empire in general, yeah, the st strength is going to be your best friend. Strength and being cunning. Anything else? Yeah, it's really relevant. So that the Sith also give you a little bit more freedom to do things how you want to do it. Well, as long as either you're a Darth or a Lord. If you ain't either of those, you ain't got much freedom. Alright, so we got one tablet down, two to go. Also, I kind of hate doing this one, uh, this, this one. You're gonna you get to travel far and wide to get his item sometimes, if you're not lucky. And I just hope we're lucky. I think there's a bonus here, if I remember correctly. Oh. It's on a certain character. Surprise, surprise. It's gone. And the game just lagged right there. There's nothing I can do about it. That is a whole server bug. It's been going on for a very long time. And nothing much I can do about it. I am not getting lucky with these. Oh, got one. All right, cool. Again, bro. Really 
irgendwo mit drin ist. Okay. Thank you. Ah, stop that. Also, I do have abilities as a Sith assassin where I can use stealth and just run past people. It comes in handy when you really don't feel like finding 1600 enemies for a small ass mission. I probably finish up a few of the missions. Then after that, uh, we'll probably end the episode there. A little tired from today. Also, it is extremely hot in the house. It is 72. And I'm, uh, now, you might think that's not hot, but like, the way this house is built, well, it's a home, it's not really a house. More like this home is built, it's meant to keep in heat in. So you don't get cold during the cold night. As a result, when it gets hot, oh, it gets hot. You want to die. But take care for, we'll take that character for cleaning everything out. Oh, I'm with everything. I'm already in court, man. <laughs> and hungry. I think this one today is gonna be a short episode. Cause I'm recording this one right after I did the other one. Like, what's that like doing? I like to get my mount, see how far I can get in top before it keeps you off. I'm pretty far with the uh, certain levels. Like once you get to a certain level, you can actually make it all the way up to here. Step forward. I assume you've completed my task. I will take the holocron now. It is time we judge the purity of your overseer's blood. Time we know how much of the ancients survive in their veins. I couldn't agree more. The holocron. It glows white. So little Sith blood in all of the Academy. And only one of the Overseers wears the red marks. This is shameful. I will bring this to the attention of the Dark Council. Measures must be taken if the true Sith are to survive. What's your plan? I'll advise purges and enslavement of those with the thinnest blood. And uplift the pure. It will be the Dark Council's decision, however. You have served well. It is too late for me to alter your training, but in the future, perhaps acolytes will kneel at the feet of the pure-blooded. Don't go too crazy. Literally, do not go too crazy. Because we know in history how people want Pacific genetics go. It doesn't end well. I know you. We talked before. My head's clearer now, Sith. It's all here. 
Conley, with all this, I... Once the guards change shifts, I think I can slip out of the academy. But what about you? Will you be okay? Me? I'll be fine. I'm more worried about you. That's very kind of you, Sith. I still don't understand why you're doing this. Don't but worry I thank about you. It. You'll be okay. If everything's settled, I'll be leaving. As you say, Seth. Thank you again. Oh, you're welcome. I'm sorry the Empire took you in instead of the Jedi. No, if I'm things not had sorry. been different, maybe you could have been part of the Order. Nope. Don't care. You got an order, ain't that great? Realistically, kind of not. not. No, I mean, neither Empire is great. So there's a lot about the upcoming deal, like upcoming, like um, worlds. I'm gonna explode. So the Jedi here. is preparing his escape. You did well. I'll after this. Not perfectly, but I have confidence the operation will succeed. Our business is concluded. I will make note of your assistance in my report. My duty is my life. As it should be. Take these tokens as payment for your service, and know that no Jedi can threaten Korriban. Now go. Okay. Yeah, boy. Get some credit. Ooh, a gift already. So you see how this is like, kind of, I guess, blacking out. So you need a companion that might like this or might not. How much I like it will tell you how many points you gain. How much I dislike it will tell me how many points you're not. It'll just be zero. And as of right now, we don't have a companion. So, yeah. And we can't equip this because it requires medium armor. We don't wear medium armor. Yeah, there's a lot of running around and just. That's what also, I should mention the other reason the episode is going to be short. I want to make sure, just in case the audio messed up like last time, it's not too much of a story gone and wasted of your time. But I should the yes. issue should be fixed right now. It's remarkable, magnificent. You, you slave. Wait, no, acolyte. You're the one who brought me this magnificent holocron from the tomb of Marco Ragnos. Yes. It was actually quite simple. Unbelievable. 1,000 years buried in that tomb, the Sith Lords passing it by, and then the most unlikely person comes along. Tell me, how did you manage it? I shot lightning at it and it opened. Such a simple solution. Why did none of us think of that? Yes, no, it is, we must have thought too deeply on it, believed too strongly that it could not be done. Or perhaps we were simply not meant to open it. Your work so far in bringing back this holocron and now the text from Tulak Horde's tomb has me intrigued. I am watching your progress eagerly. I have high hopes for you, Acolyte. Sky high. Really? Harkon seems to favor Fawn. Harkon's only purpose is to weed out the weak. Beyond that, his opinion means nothing. Good luck, Acolyte. Good luck. I'm happy. Yeah, boy. Alright, let's go. I was just about to send Fawn off. What delayed you, slave? Well, first Lord Zash stopped me to tell me how amazing I am. And then we got talking. And I suppose I lost track of time. Just like a slave to make up stories. Lord Zash would crush you like a Gizka if you ever crossed her path. You're not worthy of her presence. Now, did you collect the text from Tulak Horde's tomb? Just take it already. Give it here. No doubt it's been badly damaged. It's what we get for sending a careless lowlife to do a Sith job. Isn't that right, Fawn? What are we waiting for, Overseer? Why don't we kill this wretch now? You have a big mouth, slave, but no combat skills. I don't want to see you again until you've satisfied the Korriban instructors. The training facility is on the second floor of the academy and is usually reserved for the Dark Lords and their apprentices. Cool. This is not a promotion, and you are not to speak to anyone except the training master when you are up there, understand? You are not fit for their presence. That's hardly your call. 
Do not press your luck, slave. I could just let Fon tear you to pieces. Do it. Now get going to the second floor training grounds. You don't want to keep the instructors waiting. Well, I don't understand. Like, I could easily tear you to pieces in my area. Cool. Do it. But you gotta realize, in this academy, even though it's very brutal, they have to follow some rules. And since I'm already liked by Lord Ash, technically, he really can't do much about it. Oh yeah, let me do this one thing. I like doing this. Hide the head slot because I want to show my character face. And show Dark Side of Corruption. Activate. Oh, did not do it right. Oh, come on. You want to hide it? Oh, no, maybe so. Maybe. Usually when you press this, it just hides it automatically for you. Bugging out. Hmm. Some tells me I'm gonna be a tad. This seems really convenient. I just need to go battle somebody. Hello there, friend. Ah, you remember man. my brother and me from downstairs? With Harkin, right? Sorry it had to be this way. We don't like it any more than you do. Well, Maybe a little more. This sounds vaguely like a threat. What did I ever do to you? I'm sorry, man. I liked you. I really did. But Harker made us a deal, see? We kill you, we go home. No, you don't. You will regret You will die regardless. That. We don't want to. But we know we can't beat Fon, and we'll never be Sith. At least this way we can go home, alive. Quiet, Balak. The time for talk is past. Fight for your life, Acolyte. Yay. Alright, cool. Wow. I'm just gonna jump off here, I'll be okay. That was easy. Oh, that was unfortunate. Down. Piece of shit. Well, well. Look who shows up at long last. I half expected to hear you'd crossed some dark lord upstairs and finally got yourself killed. None of the others have shown up either. I assume they're dead by now, which means you and Fawn are the last ones. So I just killed Fawn and I'm Sith, right? This shouldn't take long. Wrong. Your final trial will be to retrieve an ancient map from the innermost chamber of Naga Sado's tomb, which has never been breached in thousands of years. But before you get the map, you'll have to awaken an ancient assassin called a Dashard that sleeps in the tomb. You cannot access the map without him. Understand? I think I can do that much. Oh, and one more thing. You'll be competing with Fawn for this map. Whoever brings it back will be Lord Zash's apprentice. The other will die. And Fon's already started. So my advice? Run, slave. Run. Ahem. <clears throat> One moment, please. Lord Zash. What are you doing here? Overseer, are you implying that I, a Lord of the Sith, don't have the right to go where I please within the Academy of the Sith? No. Of course not, Lord Zash. Good. I saw the last acolyte arrive. I wanted to see the hopefuls off on their final trial. Where's, um, what's his, the red one, Fawn? He finished his trial early, so I sent him on rather than keeping him waiting for this. Pity. I just finished translating the wonderful text this acolyte brought from Tulakhold's tomb. 
and it's most illuminating. I don't know that the map can be retrieved without it. What makes you say that? It's too late. Fawn's already left. You can't just... W give one acolyte an unfair advantage over the other? Overseer, when has being Sith ever been about being fair? Now, fair enough. my dear acolyte, here is what you must do to free the Deshard. There are rods scattered throughout the tomb of Nagasado. These rods are the keys to the chamber where the ancient assassin is imprisoned. You will need to place the rods in the chamber door and electrify them. I don't know exactly the reason, but it is clear that you will not be able to retrieve the map without the Deshard. But be careful, he is very dangerous. I have yet to meet a danger I cannot defeat. I will return when both acolytes are back from the tomb. You will not do anything further to affect the outcome of the trial. Understood? Yes, Lord Zash. Good. And good luck, Acolyte. <laughs> Alright, I think that's a good stopping point there. Alright, uh, my name is Gabriel Man. And I will see you guys later.